Alright, here's my next uh, mill engine. I think this is the fifth one. Flyball governor, antique oiler. I machine all the parts. I have the castings done. The only casting on it is this one right here that I machine. But everything else, like this old flywheel here and this one, came off of the internet. And I machine all the flyball governor parts. There are some antique blowdown valves here. And these little oilers that are on it are uh, from a model making company. And I've got this connected to my uh, 20 inch boiler. Uh, total length of the wood is uh, 36 inches. Uh, I guess it's about 18 inches, 20 inches high. About the same width, about 20 inches wide. Real smooth looking engine. Very smooth running. I opened up the ports a little larger on this one, on the valve ports inside here. Uh, using, uh, I use a 5 8 end mill now instead of a quarter inch end mill. To cut those ports, and I think it breathes a little better. This is connected to one of my 20 inch boilers. It's also for sale on eBay. Running about, what, 60 pounds or so. It'll run down on 20 pounds of steam. No problem. So you can belt it to a small, small sawmill or a threshing machine hay baler, this is the, probably the smoothest running uh, engine I've built, it really is perfect, and of course it comes from my, I have an antique one like it, over a hundred years old, and one of my patterns happened to be exactly the same shape for it, the engine. And it's sometimes referred to as a box bed engine because of this uh, box shape down here. Most common is mill engine though. It would be used in sawmills and things like that, I guess. And once it's permanently installed, you want to run the exhaust here up the stack to create more draft in the boiler. About it, I guess. Beautiful. Engine.